So City today have announced the signing of another young player. It's um, Philippe Sandler, a player that I'm sure for many of you, as was for me, is a relatively unknown player from the Eredivisie. 21 years old, has been bought in for £2.6 million. Pounds. And um, yeah, because he's such an unknown player, I thought I'd do a little bit of video after doing a bit of research, talking about his play style, a few things I managed to learn about him. And I'd love to hear if you're someone that watches the Eredivisie regularly or you're someone that's a PEC Zwoll fan, the team that he played for before. Let us know in the comment section, us City fans, what we can expect from Sandler. But uh, yeah, we're just going to do a quick video today discussing a few things that I've learned since we signed him earlier on. So Sandler is 21 years old. We bought him in from PEC Zwolle in the Eredivisie, as I've just mentioned. We paid 2.6 million to get his services. So a very, very low, um, low risk investment, particularly in the current market where you're seeing players comfortably go for 50 million all the time. Um, he's a player that, after watching some clips and doing a bit of research, he's. Um, I can see why we'd want him. He's a player that he plays a centre back. First things first, if you weren't worry, he is he is a centre half. He's six foot one, not the strongest, most muscular centre back, but um, he's a player that's almost. He reminds me a little bit of John Stones in his play style. No way on that level. Don't get me wrong, but he's comfortable on the board. He likes to bring out really frequently. Good passing statistics from him last season as well. I mean, he played for PEC's Waller, who on, an, uh, on the biggest team in uh, the Eredivisie, obviously. And he had an 85% passing success rate coming from centre-back, which is uh, very, very tidy. So when you look at those things, there, you can see why Guardiola might think he could be someone that comes in in the future and potentially can do a job. And for 2.6 million, you know, as I've already mentioned, it's low risk. If he doesn't do well, he can be moved on potentially for a profit, but you're not really going to be uh, losing much money on him either way. Um, I think you're probably going to see him being loaned out, whether it's to Girona, which is a team where we loan out a lot of players, whether it's to... Um, there's another team that we loan out to a lot, and the name is skipping over me. Is it NAC in the um, in the Dutch League? We loan a lot of our players out to... Forgive me, that's just skipped my mind there. But yeah, I, I think he's most certainly going to be loaned out. I don't think you're going to be seeing playing in a Man City shirt this season. You know, we've got a decent amount of centre-backs, out of Mendy, Company, Stones, Laporte. There's no way he's going to be challenging those guys, but... If he goes out and loan, if he gets some good experience, maybe pushes himself onto the next level because of his playing style and the way that obviously City planned a Guardiola, there's potential for him to have a future at the club, don't get me wrong, but it is going to take a lot of hard work. So is he a player that's played a lot in the ODBs? Is he a player that's playing on the international scene? Is he a player that's impressed last season? Well, when it comes to his club, Peck Zwoll, P.E.C. Zwoller, again, apologies if I'm getting that wrong. Um, he was a regular starter last year. He played 24 times for them. But, you know, he's 21 years old. That's kind of to be expected. If you're a decent player for a club like that, you know, no disrespect to P.E.C. Zwoller, but you'd expect him if he's a player with big potential to be playing for them regularly, which he was. Um, he's not made an appearance for the Dutch national team as of yet. Only played for them at under 20 level and previous to last season for PEC Zwolle he wasn't playing at all I think he'd made four appearances in the 2016 to 2017 season so relatively new on the scene in the Eredivisie but with his play style with the way he looks to bring the ball forward that's obviously made him stand out in the crowd compared to some of the other centre backs and maybe that I'd say not even a maybe I'd say that's definitely the, that confidence on the ball and passing ability for a centre half is what, uh, what's enticed City and Guardiola to go out there and pick him up. So, you know, relatively untried. I wouldn't even be super surprised if we ended up loaning him back to PEC as well. Like I say, I'm pretty confident that's what you're going to see. You're going to see him being loaned back out again to get some more match time under his belt. But um, I just mentioned the fact that he's 21 and that's not super young these days. You know, you'd think at 21, if he was a phenomenal player, there'd be a lot more clubs going after him. Getting him for 2.6 million, obviously, could, uh, could prove to be a big coup in the long term. But it does say to me that perhaps he's not the most outstanding talent here in the Eredivisie. I mean, you only have to look at someone like a uh, Delict, who's playing at Ajax, who's three years younger than him. And he's absolutely killing it at the moment. So, uh, you know, maybe he's not in the top crop of players. But is he someone that, you know, that Pep can take as a rough diamond and polish him out, mould him into being a fantastic, fantastic centre-back? There's always going to be that potential there when you combine the way that he plays, his age, and the fact we've got Guardiola at the helm as well, obviously. But um, that is going to end up this video. I did tell the start, it's going to be a pretty short one. He's a relatively unknown player. As I've said, if you're someone that follows the area of BZ, or you're a fan of PEZ as well, or you just happen to have followed Stanley for a while, let us know if you've got any more information in the comment section down below. Input is always massively appreciated. I'm sure myself, as well as the City fans out there, would love to know a bit more about this guy. But yeah, low risk, I mean, to summarise, low risk investment, bit of potential to fit into the City mould in the future. And, um, you know, why not? Why not take a punt on him? You know, 2.6 million, like I say, again, low risk, got some potential there. 
could fit in in the future. But uh, that is going to end off the video, in the video, guys. Hopefully, you did find this useful and you did enjoy. If you did, leave a big thumbs up on this. This is probably going to go up on the Tuesday now. I actually did a video earlier today, FIFA 19 rating predictions for uh, for Spurs. So if you are interested in that, go and check that out as well. But um, yeah, I hope you have an enjoyable rest of your evening, guys. And I'll catch you all next time. Need you out.